Hello, thank you for your interest in our study of melanoma risk in airline pilots. The data is not new. It's been known for some time that, or suspected for some time, that melanoma incidence and mortality is increased in airline pilots. But the data is old and of uncertain quality. Um, in general, the health of airline pilots is better than the rest of the population and including their risk of some cancers. So we carried out a systematic review of meta-analysis using standard methods to look at firstly published studies, not unpublished studies, studies where his melanoma had been confirmed histologically and studies that included only airline pilots and not military or commercial pilots. Uh, we looked at also at keratinocyte cancer risk in air, airline pilots and also looked at risk of melanoma and keratinocyte cancer in cabin crew. Seven pooled studies showed standard incidence ratios for melanoma to be doubled in airline pilots and the risk of getting melanoma was directly related to duration of employment, cumulative flight hours and cumulative exposure to cosmic radiation. If we look at mortality, in three studies um, uh, the, the risk of dying from melanoma in airline pilots was doubled but there was no dose effect. Looking at cabin crew, melanoma incidence of was increased twofold but melanoma mortality wasn't increased at all. In both groups, keratinocyte cancer risk was doubled, but there was no change in mortality. The cause of this is unclear, but it's long been thought that the risk of melanoma in airline pilots was increased due to exposure to UV on the flight deck. UV is not measurable on the flight deck in, measure in modern airliners, um, and neither is it detectable in the cabin or at least um, levels are not increased above those found on the ground. In um, cabin crew, the risk of melanoma seems to be just the same as in airline pilots, and yet cabin crew are not exposed to ultraviolet in the same way, as they're enclosed in a small aluminium tube. So it seems unlikely that um, occupational exposure to UV is responsible for the in increase in risk in pilots. Disruptive circadian rhythm is uh, associated with increased cancer risk in animals, but not in humans. And many of the pilots in the study flew short haul and so wouldn't have been subject to changing to circadian rhythm. Increased recreational exposure to UV is a possibility, but we have no evidence for that, which leaves us with ionising radiation from uh, cosmic radiation exposure, which is very significantly increased in pilots. In fact, they're the occupational group who are most radiation exposed. Um, secondly, there's the question of dose response, which does seem to show a link between cosmic radiation dose and risk. And finally, um, if we look at the um, relationship between dose and effect for causing cancer, there is no evidence that cosmic radiation exposure is safe in terms of melanoma genesis because the safety levels have been determined to minimise risk of myeloid cancer. So lots there to investigate uh, but we do know now that the basic idea that melanoma incidence and mortality is increased in airline pilots is correct. Thank you.